Hi guys, this is Sadek from Droidman.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the yellow exclamation mark or the yellow warning sign next to Qualcomm HS USB 2D Loader 9008 or next to the EDL device mode. So as you might be aware, every OnePlus phone that has a Qualcomm chipset comes with an underlying EDL mode or the emergency download mode. Using that mode, you could flash the OSP firmware and unbreak your OnePlus phone using the MSM download tool. However, your first course of action is to boot your phone to EDL mode, but that will not suffice. You will also have to install the Qualcomm drivers. If you simply boot your phone to EDL mode, then you will get the QHS USB. As I, you could see, this is the QHS USB bulk message. This signifies that the drivers are not installed. However, even if you install the Qualcomm drivers, you will then get the Qualcomm HS USB QD loader. But apart from that, you might also get a yellow exclamation mark. So let me show you what I mean. I've already installed the drivers, Qualcomm drivers. If you haven't done so, then go to my link guide and install the drivers from here. After that, if I open device manager by right clicking on start icon, and then if I go to device manager, and now if I expand the port section. So let me do so in the port section, as you could see, my device has been shown as Qualcomm HS QSB loader, but it's along with a yellow exclamation mark, the yellow warning sign, as you could see over here. So let me zoom in further and it will become more clear. So let me bring it to the frame. So as you could see, it currently has a yellow exclamation mark. And until and unless this mark is removed, you will not be able to flash or do any task using the MSM tool. So let's now proceed ahead and remove this tool, remove this icon. So for that, your your first course of action will be to disable the Windows driver signature enforcement. Yes, this is happening because Windows is preventing the installation of Qualcomm drivers. So you'll first have to disable the driver check verification of Windows and then the signature will automatically be fixed and the issue will no longer be there. So let me show you how this could be done. So for that, your first course of action is to write to open the start icon, then press and hold the shift key. And while doing so, press on restart. So hit the power button and now click on restart. Make sure you are holding the shift key. So while holding the shift key, click on restart and your PC will now boot to the Windows recovery environment. As you could see, our PC has now booted to the Windows recovery environment. So at this point in time, your mouse might not work. So use the power, use the arrow keys to select troubleshoot and hit enter. After that, select advanced option and again hit enter and then select startup settings and hit enter. After that, Click on the restart button that you could see at the bottom right. You just need to hit enter and your PC will start with the startup settings. So make sure to select the start restart icon via the space bar and then hit the enter key. So your PC will now boot to the startup settings menu and this will again take a few seconds. So let's wait while that is happening. And the PC will now boot to the startup settings icon. So it's currently booting there. So as you could see, it's now in the startup settings page. And over here, as you could see in the number seven, it's disable driver signature enforcement. So you will have to carry out this task. For that, you need to just press the seven key or the F7 key. Just verify the order number on which this option is there in your PC. In most Windows PCs, it's there in the option seven only. So either press the seven key or the F7 key. So let's press the seven key for now. And it has disabled the driver signature enforcement. And you could now go ahead and install the driver. In our case, we have already installed the Qualcomm drivers, so our PC will now be able to identify the device in EDL mode and you will no longer get the exclamation mark. Likewise, you could now flash the OSP firmware via the MSM tool without any issues as well. So let me show you now, our PC is about to boot to the OS. So the first booter might take up a few additional seconds since we have just disabled the driver signature. That's not an issue. Let's now boot up to the OS. And the PC has now booted to the OS and let me now show you the result. So if I now right click on the Windows icon and select device manager. So from there, if I now expand the port section. So let me show you. So this is the port section. And as you could see, the yellow submission mark has now gone. Let me zoom it further. Just a minute. And as you could see, the yellow mark is no longer there. And with this, our task stands complete. And we could now go ahead and flash the firmware using the MSM tool. So let me now show you the result of the MSM tool as well. Just a minute. So let's now verify the result from MSM tool. If I now launch the MSM tool. So let me close this. So let's now open the MSM. If you don't have the MSM tool, you could download it from the guide I have linked in the description. So go to that guide and launch the MSM tool via the exe file. So it will now load and the first loading would take up a few seconds. So let's wait for that is happening.
So it's now loading the OSP firmware inside the MSM tool as well. Once it has done so, you'll now get a login prompt. So just choose others under login and click on next. It will now load the MSM tool with the OSP package. And as you could see, our device is now being shown as connected under MSM tool as well. So we could now go ahead and simply flash the firmware. So guys, this was all from this video on how you could fix the issue of yellow function mark under the Qualcomm HS USB drivers. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section. And please subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks. Thanks a lot for watching.